Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 as the Lion King of the Rock and I've already uh, spent you know lavishly on, on the food and I've also invited some some people to uh, entertain our guests and now we will uh, we have most of the preparations done and we'll send the invitations uh, very nice um oh look at that the upcoming wedding in Castle Rock will be an event even event all seek to attend even foreign guests one such summer islands man named Punxurak Saxos wishes to partake in the festivities interesting sure why not um oh interesting ah, that's I, I find that interesting I think that's how that guy um came to uh, the court of Robert Baratheon he wanted to I think he obviously wanted to uh uh convince Robert to attack at the summer islands but um, I think he just happened to show up during a tournament or something like that, or a wedding. That's quite possible. Anyways, uh, the cats have finally arrived. All is ready. The servants worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Lyasa's gown is splendid, and the castle has never looked livelier. Very, very nice. Now, she's actually not grown yet, but look at this. She's honorable, she's charitable, uh, and she could become brave, which would be nice, and she's obviously strong. So this, this is a great match. Now, for the feast. Yes, um... They have taken up their holy vow of marriage. Great lords of ladies of the rock look on as he drapes the arms of House Lannister around the bride to finally seal their marriage. Great. And look at this. Lannisport. What's going on here? We have the bloody flocks in Lannisport, but Castle Rock is still booming. Cool. Right, the more Dornish Red Lord Torian drank, the more and louder he talked and laughed until he let out a loud snoring and fell face first into his plate. That is rather disgusting, but... Let him have his fun. He's a small... He's actually a strong dwarf. and str <laughs> He's a skilled fighter. But yeah, he's uh, he's quite sick. I don't know why we invented uh, invited him here. But anyways, the feast is winding down. And now only the bedding remains. Martin and Lyssa are stripped of all garments by the Rebellas. Who make, a, who make many a body joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into their bedchamber. Where they are finally left alone. A fine tradition indeed. Um, and the morning after wedding feast has come and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home. All agree it was a fine celebration and many predict the newlyweds shall be most content. Okay, so National Road Quest goes down, vast opinion and we gain some prestige. Cool, now we'll still have to uh, wait for our, well, for our wealth to go up a little bit more because we want to finish our ambition. And there it is, the bloody flux has broken out. Oh no. Well... For now, it's still booming here, but I don't know for how long. I might shut the gates, but then again, no, I will probably not do that. Uh, what I will do though is I will send you off on a pro on a on a foreign tour. Yeah. Wow. Despite your offer to fund his journey, your son did not seem keen to undertake a tour. He has rejected our proposal. What? I didn't even know they were able to do that. Huh. I could assemble him. Hmm. I don't think I will make him assemble a mercenary company. It would be fun. But I'll probably not do that. I actually wanted to get him out of harm's way. Oh well. No, if he's if he wants to stay, I just hope he doesn't catch the disease. That'd be quite terrible. All right. So um, Lisa Arian was supposed to work on her embroidery, but she clearly fancied another kind of pin. Her swordsmanship was not too bad for a girl. This is not seemly for a woman. I think... Yeah, we're probably going to go with that one. She could gain just or humble. Go with that. Quite probably. Yeah. Alright, we'll go for that. And she's just. I think that, that works quite well. That's giving her even more stewardship and learning. And she might still be brave. Become a good fighter. It's possible. And she... Liesa is developing into an ambitious young woman. She could never be like me anyways. Here's the thing. I want her to be ambitious. Because we want her to be uh, to be ruling the Mountain Vale, and while our son is ruling the Rock and the Reach, that'd be really cool. So uh, yeah, we'll make her ambitious. That that is supposed to happen. Very nice. She's turned out very great. These are dark days. My bastard daughter has been grown weaker and weaker over the last few weeks, and I have been informed that her affliction is indeed the blood flux. All right. Well, we'll stall. We'll, we'll call for a court physician, and apparently Master Lauren is doing a great job. Nice. I almost lost uh, lost hope for this guy. Because he was uh, messing up several times. But apparently he's doing 
He's doing a good job here. Yeah. All right, well, um, I will not join that tournament. And we can imprison you. Or maybe that's false alarm. Not too sure about that. But I can't, <laughs> I can't understand why my son refused to go on a foreign tour. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. If he, I, I, initially I was thinking to send him on to a foreign tour and then um, once he comes back and he's, you know, obviously gloriously returning, I was thinking about giving him Bright Roll. Um, but yeah, now it's not going to happen. Now he's not going to inherit it until we die. And no, look at this. Our squire has died. Oh well. Oh well. I wonder if I can take on you as a squire. Probably not. Alright, well, that's okay. She still hasn't finished her education here. I remember I've given her the martial focus. I think that was wrong to begin with. I should have given her some, some other focus. But oh well. More dragons causing problems. Well, here's the thing. I would very much like to take a dragon myself, but I can't. Still wounded. Uh, yes, you're all riding dragons, damn Targaryens. And more raiders. The Shame Isle. This one. Now, why can I not seek for... I, I guess you can't do that. Negotiate annexation. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that was possible. You can negotiate an alliance or annexing. Hmm. So if you have alliance with a smaller realm, you can annex them. I wasn't aware of that. But anyways, we'll raise some men... And we'll probably just crush them. I don't think we need to wait for morale anymore. This is enough. Okay. Do we want Sir Peter to join us? Hmm. Well, he's really good. But he's also quite old. For 50 gold, that's a bit much. That's quite a lot of money. So I don't think I will. But we'll stand you down. Troublesome peasants. Um, well, as long as Castle Rock is booming. I, I, I think that's fine. And my bastard daughter will be married to the Storm King's brother, um, which is good. I think with that, we might be able to form an alliance. No, he has political concerns. That's okay, though. At least we have a non-aggression pact. So that means we should be able to uh, go after the Mountain Vale quite easily. Yeah. Still, we have to wait. We'll have to wait for this marriage um, to... Uh, to happen. In fact, I will educate this guy as well. Humphrey Aaron. I can take him as a squire, sure. And we'll probably force him to train. And he's at least diligent now. We're making them all really great kids. I like that. But unfortunately, my daughter is having a car. Mm, no, I will not replace my hand of the king. Cough and fatigue. I hope she doesn't die. But we apparently become close friends with Lissa Erin. She's now depressed and she has chest pains and fatigue. No. Oh, I hope she doesn't die. That would be quite terrible. <sighs> I was a bit distracted when my when I handed my buzzer to a courier. I was watching another of my birds who were about to catch each uh, catch another rabbit and did not realize that the eager courier had no clue of what to do with the buzzard okay the bird was lost well oh, fine i'm a bit disappointed but I don't, I don't think it's a big deal okay well yeah i certainly want benisa to uh, survive this would be terrible come on please all right so Lissa Aaron turned into a dutiful commander she now has the bloody flux please don't she has a successful treatment great all right i don't want him to die and Clendon the third is known as the good um, and his son Ronard or his brother Ronard hmm. all right well we'll see how that goes but I've lost my infection that's good news but we still have that wound and now time us everyone has the blood flux all right well master Lewand completely botched the treatment hmm. all right well Here's the thing, he's been, uh, he's been treating others quite well, 
I think I'll give him one more chance. One more chance, but if he messes up again, then it's over. And there it is, our wound has healed up. And I think that is our chance to go and fight this dragon one more time. We'll do it. All right, we'll raise our men. Actually, that's maybe it's going to be a bit too many. Um, I suppose we'll raise Tybalt's men and we'll lead them ourselves. I think oh, we could change some laws. I don't think we'll do that. Maybe once we're back. Hmm. We have supporters. Maybe the burgers pay more taxes. Actually, I will do that. Yeah. And um, I think I want my Hand of the King with me. I want him to join us here. Uh, yes, Timos, you come with me. Do I want my son with me as well? Hmm. He might. Alright, you know what? We'll, we'll go. And we'll go onto the boats. And perhaps our son, or our friend, or we get to take that dragon. We shall see. Um, other than that. Hmm. I hope she doesn't die. Can I give you an honorary title? I cannot. And she is rivaled to Saria. Yes, of course you are. Of course you are. We have a bit you're not pregnant, right? Oh you are. Elia Sand. Oh you had a you had a kid. My son uh, Well how does he like his wife? I don't know. I like his wife more. We'll see how that turns out. But this is obviously a problem. I was trying to separate them. I mean Dawn is quite far away. She should be happy over here. But she's just as insane as my son is. Everyone is insane in the Lanster family. It's quite crazy. Um we cannot, yeah, we cannot go to your feast right now. Because uh, we are about to face some dragons. Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll face the dragon one more time. Come on, this time it's got to work. And this is below me, but... Come on. We shall face the dragon. Zeral, third time. We might have to face him seven times. I don't know. You are mine, certainly. We failed. <laughs> and we died. No. Alright, well. It's not really a big surprise, is it? But. Maybe. Our son is going to be successful. We shall see. King Tom II has taken his last breath. At age 42, he was killed by the dragon Zeral. Tom's life was spent seeking and building power. His ambition may even challenge the reign of gods. King Martin being a stark raving lunatic, just like his father, and deranged madman. The only one who can help Martin's rule is the gods. Long live King Martin. So, be it. So, yeah, we want to kill Prince Tistane, the indolent. Um, I think, what are we going to go with? Uh, by far, I think war is what we're going to go for. Yeah, probably. And as for an ambition... I think we want to have a son, right? I think we're going to go with a son. Um, yes. Now, how... Oh, our wife doesn't like us. Um, I, but we like her quite a lot, actually. Um, I mean, yeah. We like her. We just don't like her as much as our lover. So we should make you important. And we need to kill you. Yeah. All right. So we'll try and... Oh, a lot of people are actually supporting us there. So let's see... Um, I need a new master of coin. My mother. Uh, she's probably going to be great. And as for Hand of the King, do I have a friend? I have a friend, Justin Rain. I would like to invite you to my court. But he... Oh. Wow. He's not coming. Well, in that case, I need a new Hand of the King. Let me see. Mm. Well, he's the best. Lyman of the Golden Tooth. Lyman the Monstrous. Oversee the realm, please. And my mother, I actually want you to collect some taxes here. Yeah, that's great. And are we going to... Uh, we need to uh, appoint a court physician and maester. Serve the court, please. And you as well. We can usurp titles. I think that's not correct. I think that I think that's a bug. Um, yeah, that's a bug. So we'll not do that. That, that that is that's not supposed to happen 
and a new commander can be appointed as well. Garion Case set the crown focus in Castly Rock. We shall do that, and we'll face the dragon as well. We're just a lunatic, so might as well. And yeah, Zeral. We have a new heir, our brother, and my father needs a funeral certainly, and all the lords of the realm will be invited. And there it is. All hail his grace, Martin of the House Lannister. First of his name, King of the Rock in the Westlands, Lord of Castly Rock, Shield of Lannisport, and Protector of the Realm. And we will try and uh, slay the dragon now, uh, who slew our father. I uh, will at least make him ours, anyway. We will slay the beast? He's a dragon egg. No, you are mine. And we have been wounded. Oh, I think we'll stay here just a little bit longer, because perhaps Timos is going to attack the dragon. I think he can't, because he's sick. Alright, well in that case, we'll go back onto the boats. <sighs> that dragon. <laughs> it's impossible for us to defeat him. But we'll, uh, we won't give up. Um, now, we are not quite, we're temperate. So I think we'll make, we'll get, yeah, we'll spend enough food on to satisfy everyone's hunger. We're temperate, and as I said... You know, we are, we're not proud like our father is. We're zealous, though. So that's kind of interesting. We'll make our way back to Castly Rock. Uh, luckily, the... Well, the disease is still in Castly Rock. But now it has gone. Very nice. And there is a tournament that we are apparently participating in. We are about to... Hmm, fight this guy. I think that should be quite easily. It seems that Joanna, the spy master of the Hornvale, has investigated rumors of a plot... Ooh, might have to kill her. Hmm. Anyway, for now, we uh, hit this guy off his horse. And perhaps we're going to win a tournament here. We already won one before, so we could get a lot of money from that. And we're, just, we're just defeating everyone. Florian Prester hit him as well. Knock him off his horse. We're actually wounded still, right? But yeah, there's going to be our feast. And we'll knock him off this time. Um, We're not particularly... Yeah, we'll... I will never debase my subjects by exercising this right. I think so. I think because we're temperate, uh, we're quite zealous. Not sure if that really means much, but we have we have a great love. So I don't think we will do that. I will, can click this button right there and knock him off. Wow. He's apparently quite, uh, quite an opponent. Anyways, uh, we will have the usual reserves. Yeah. And are you... How many lances have we broken? I don't know, but he's the third place, so we are moving forward. Lord Burton has used his attendance at the feast uh, for print justice. Okay. Lord Andros Brox sullied his honor. Um, Andros the Unchaste. Burton, Burton Moorland. Um, hmm. What are we going to do? Fine. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go against the gay man. Yeah. So, uh, but we'll just pay it fine. I think that's okay. And no one can beat me. We're probably going to win this. We're now fighting Sir Rollum. We shall see how that goes. He has 9 dual skill. We have 10. And, oh, we've been hit. And we land in the dirt. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. So we're gonna be second place. But, uh, as the Silent Sisters finish the preparation of the deceased, the body of King Tom II is brought to the local sept and laid atop the altar at its center. Can I pick jars of ornate designer placed at the feet of the dead, and the eldest child places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, those closest to the departed in life make their way into the sept and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears, and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds down and the last goodbye is said, the body is carried by kin along the crowd-lined streets to its final resting place. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held, and, the, and those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and deeds for the lost. And so it is done. Tom Lancer was killed by the dragon Zeral. He was driven insane um, by that dragon, and eventually he, he got killed. Uh, King Tommen was, was merely a competent swordsman, but he found a set of alien seal armor. Uh, he fought krakens and dragons and all kinds of drunken sailors and he had several tours around the world. Uh, he was a great hunter, not the greatest warrior necessarily, but uh, he was alright. Um, so yeah, 
so it is done. Um, and there's always next time. We are second place. Glory to us, we even gain a little bit of money. And we'll even arrive at home. So we'll stand down and we'll stand down the fleet. So have you gotten a son? He's actually friends with the Lord Paramount of the Reach, interestingly enough. He does have two daughters, Lucia Motwell and Ellen Motwell. Well, attractive and strong. And your wife is pregnant again. Well, House Motwell is doing well for themselves. And actually, you know what? I think it's really cool. As a sailor and navigator, he picked a, uh, a shell for his sigil. I think that, that fits quite well. But yeah, um, so there's my Elia Sand, my bastard daughter that I had with my lover, Princess Saria. She's now pregnant again, I wonder. That is with Tristane. We could duel him. <gasps> yes, we will duel him. Yes, certainly. Okay, that's gonna have to happen. Let's fight. Oh yes, he accepted. What an idiot. Dual skill of eight, dual skill of ten. We fight for the honor of our uh, of our lover. Oh wow, let's fight. Okay, let's see how that goes. Um, one mistake is all he'll get. I quickly avoided his forceful attacks. Uh, you easily break through Prince Tristane's guard and knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. It's all over now. Ha! Prince Tristane drops his weapon and throws up his hands. Yield, I yield. Now, I think our character would usually accept, but not with someone, not with a rival, and certainly not someone who is married to our love. So, no, you paranoid clown. We gain dishonor. And sorry, actually, it doesn't like me because of it. Um, but that's okay. You will die. Vala Morgulis. Very nice. Prince Tristane of Dawn was slain by King Martin of the Rock in the Duel of Honor. Victory is ours. Oh, that's glorious. So, Saria, are you going to come back to court? Yes! Our lover is going to be back after our father forced us uh, to separate. Um, but she will be back. Anyways, your duel against Prince Tristan Martel has ended. The fight is fierce from start. The sound of metal clashing together overtakes the murmur of the crowd watching the fight. The fight raged on for a while with no clear advantage to either. You nor the opponent until you manage to parry Prince Tristan's blade and deliver a powerful finishing blow against his defenseless body. He has been slain by your hand. Well, we were fighting with Brightwall, our Valyrian steel sword, and we had our Valyrian armor. Nothing that the Prince of Dawn could, uh, you know, he, he stood no chance. No matter how brave the man was, he stood no chance. All right, we'll walk away the victor, and 2% chance of become a formidable fighter. I prayed to the warrior. Nah, it didn't happen. Ah, that would have been too good. But anyways, after a long time of training both day and night, we've mastered the art of combat. A few could contend with your extensive knowledge of the battle techniques. And I think, um, yeah, we'll be known as a duelist. I think that fits quite well. Um, still waiting for my lover to be back in Castle Rock. She's still in Sunspear. Uh, six days is going to wait. And I just want to have her back. And you're going to invite me. Sure, we'll, we'll continue. And there is our lover back home. Now she's pregnant, I hope. She's not pregnant with this guy's uh, kid. That would be quite terrible. But we shall see. Anyways, I will end this episode at this point. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I think we started off quite well, uh, despite not being able to slay this dragon. But we have our lover back. So that is probably even more important to us. Anyways, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.